WorkSharp presents the Northwest Outdoorsman. Being outdoors, hunting and fishing is really all about being with family and friends for us. We just try to do it on our own, experience the hunts and the fishing, whatever yeah. we do, without a guide. I would, wouldn't give that up for anything. <laughs> yeah, nice fish. <laughs> Way to go. Yeah. This week on the Northwest Outdoorsman. That's a good one, Bobby. Yeah, that's a nice fish. We're fishing for trout in eastern Washington lakes. There he is. Got him? Got him. Oh, that's a nice rainbow. Nice. Doubled up. See him way back there? Yeah, stay down. Beauty kokanee. WorkSharp presents the Northwest Outdoorsman brought to you by Max Lure, Whitewater Lodge, Lodestar Outfitters, Procure Bait Sense, Valley Marine, Micklich, Wolf Creek Hunting, Atomica Music. Anglers throughout the Northwest have ample opportunity to target trout, as nearly 5 million are stocked in Oregon and Washington lakes each year. Eastern Washington has numerous lakes stocked with trout, and some lakes are known for trophy fish. Rich Herod and Bob Loomis head out in search of these colorful, hard-fighting fish. The lakes are full of surprises. Well, Bobby and I decided that we wanted to focus on trout fishing in eastern Washington. And so we'd heard about some big fish in Sprague Lake and thought, hey, what the heck, let's go on a road trip. Uh, I have one of those, one of those. Uh, <laughs> uh, I've had friends tell me, you know, about fishing Sprague Lake over the years, and there's some large, large rainbows in there. We've been wanting to do a, a quote, rainbow show, show that there's, there's a number of different styles of fisheries, types of fisheries that exist really close to where we're at. I'm changing this one out already after that, the stuff that I made. Changing already. We what, haven't even gotten the water. What's going haven't on? Haven't even gotten the water. Haven't even gotten the water and we're, <laughs> you're changing. Hey, you gotta have the right stuff on. I got some information from a, a local, a, a friend of ours that is a really good fisherman. He gave me some info and we kind of had an idea where to go, but you know, any new lake is one of those things where you're trying to figure it out. About one seven, one eight, somewhere in there. Yeah. We, we got them all out. Got them all out, everything's ready. We should be getting bit any second now. <laughs> I might put some lead on some of these. Yeah. You know, half ounce of lead, you know, something. Something get down just a little more? Y yeah. Except for we, we don't know where the fish are yet. No. Don't know. I mean, he just said, I reached down and grabbed the rod and he's gone. Gone? Gone. We tried some different speeds and I had slowed down to about 1.5 miles an hour and that's when we got the first bite, yeah. but we didn't hook up. He wanted it, but he didn't quite want it. Yeah. So maybe we need to get back, you know, stayed in that uh, that one five range is that what you've been using is the trophy trout i tried that on on this particular one well there you go the water clarity at that time like i said was absolutely zero between the winds and high amount of rain that we'd had in there it was just absolutely mud everything that we had on was all high uv glow uh, you know something that, that's going to pick up whether it's you know High, chartreuse colors, high UV coppers, uh, you name it. Something that's gonna pick up some type of sunlight or, or attract a fish from at least a little bit of a distance away. Get it? Yeah, got it. Good. Net? Uh, 65 feet. Nah, nah, nah. Oh, nice fish. Okay, net. Good job. Oh, wow. Hey, that's a beautiful fish. Yeah, they're pretty. Very pretty. Sprague Lake, special. 
Going on the old double whammy. Double whammy. Yeah, the double whammy spinner with number three uh, Indiana blade. That's exactly what happened. Heck of a nice fish, I think. Good. <laughs> that new setup that we put together real yeah. quick. Nice fish. When we hooked into that big fish, man, that was a nice fish. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> there we go. Nice job. Whew. That's a good one, Bobby. Yeah, that's a nice fish. That's what we're after. Yep, exactly. I, I was sure wishing that the bite would be a little bit better out there because it had been a lot of fun to hook into a bunch of those kind of fish. You know what, trying a new lake and trying uh, you know gear for certain types of fish and stuff, it's a matter of, of trying it. And I enjoy it. I mean, that's, that's what's fun about the job we do. I think we should just go. I think so. Coming up after the break. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm dead already. Nice. Yeah. Stay down. Yeah, that's a good one. Now that's why we come here. <laughs> WorkSharp presents the Northwest Outdoorsman brought to you by Max Lure, Whitewater Lodge, Lodestar Outfitters, Procure Bait Sense, Valley Marine, Micklich, Wolf Creek Hunting, Atomica Music. Welcome back to Sprague Lake. We had to go somewhere else because that just wasn't enough action to really get us going. I think we should just go. I think so. The reason we went to Conk Canelli is uh, last year we actually fished it because uh, there was, you know, some good kokanee fishing up there. You couldn't put it, you couldn't put your gear down without getting bit on rainbows. Richie and Bobby gave me a call saying they're going to be down in Conk Canelli, which is just south of the BC border. Really, it's only oh three hours I think from my doorstep. Weather was looking good, and I can't let the guys go fishing without me. So. Algae. You got this rod, that rod, oh, yeah, this yeah. rod. Oh, exactly. <laughs> yeah. You can hook one, put it in a rod holder, and then go back and play your fish. You yeah. know? This is what has been our go-to this year. Those are sweet looking skirts. Oh, they're nice. They're, they're really nice. Up, love action on them. Right down in here is where we started. We ended up picking up fish. We motored up the lake and decided to head up to where we had done well before. You can tell. Huh? Tell already. And I saw some, you know, some pictures of some people posting online of some decent rainbows, so I was pretty excited to go give it a try anyways. We got up there and you know we're talking about it and I was telling Danny, you know, about how many trout were in there before and you know we were putting down as I'm dropping down and, and got the rod set up and got everything done. I just let go of the rod and I'm bit. I went 30 feet and I'm yeah, I'm bit already. Oh, came off. Shoot. Didn't stay with it. The creamsicle, creamsicle orange. Yeah, trout love it. 23 feet he's there fish is on. I'm like, oh, it's going to be that kind of day. <laughs> <laughs> kind of sets the expectations there for the day. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. Jump in the boat. Yeah, exactly. Well, then all of a sudden, I don't know, I must have dropped down on one that was really, really hungry because it took us a little bit to uh, kind of get into a groove of, of what was going on. Run this line out about 150 feet with just a uh, two blade flashlight, double D, and a wedding ring. Anyways, so I let that go. I'll just let that sit on the surface. Come over here, this thing, boing, boing, cartwheel and fish, go over that. I have this one out, four fish within 27 minutes, 30 minutes, I think it was. Oh, really? For a little while, the fishing was kind of slow. Uh, we didn't get much, trolled around for a long time.
we went a little bit without touching a fish. And one of the first things that I always look at is, you know, am I too close to the ball? We were fishing like 20 to 25 feet off the ball like we would for most rainbows. Well, I turned around, pulled it up, set it back about 65, 70 feet back, went down, immediately got bit. Okay, put the donut back in my hand. Get a fish on. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it actually feels, it looks yeah. like it's got some weight to it. <clears throat> oh, it's a nice kokanee. Look at the size of that. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is a nice kokanee. Okay, over my head, ready? There we go. Nice fish. Oh man, that's a beauty. Yeah, it's, that. wow, that is thick. That's almost like. Oh, look at that. Jeez, Bobby, that's a good one. Yeah, that's shoulders, nice, man. That's a nice fish. <laughs> it, it wasn't a rainbow. It was definitely a kokanee fight, and he pulls it in. And this is a beautiful football, 50 and a half, 16 inch kokanee that he pulls in. And nice. Dude, it's like nice. thick. It's a hand. Yeah. Holy cow, it's like a two pound kokanee. I mean, it's a nice fish. It's like 16 and a half, 17 inches, you know, solid, heavy fish. You know, it was just gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, sounds good reasoning to me. <laughs> it works. I can't, doesn't it? <laughs> Coming up after the break. All I had to do was eat a donut. <laughs> Danny. Got him? Got him. Oh, that's a nice rainbow. Look at, his, look at his fin. Oh, yeah. WorkSharp presents the Northwest Outdoorsman brought to you by Max Lure, Whitewater Lodge, Lodestar Outfitters, Procure Bait Sense, Valley Marine, Micklich, Wolf Creek Hunting, Atomica Music. Welcome back to Concanali Lake. Oh, look at that. Jeez, Bobby, that's a good one. It's got yeah, shoulders, nice. man. That's a nice fish. <laughs> it, it wasn't a rainbow. It was definitely a kokanee fight, and he pulls it in. And this is a beautiful football, 50 and a half, 16 inch kokanee that he pulls in. And nice. Dude, it's like thick. It's a hand. Yeah. Holy cow, it's like a two pound kokanee. I mean, it's a nice fish. It's like 16 and a half, 17 inches, you know, solid, heavy fish. You know, it was just gorgeous. Oh. You better get the uh, live well going. Yeah. Long johns because it puts on the extra weight, keeps you warm in the winter. <laughs> is that, is that why? Well, that's, sounds good reasoning to me. <laughs> it works. I can't, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, you, sir. Oh, yeah. Good. I it was just, it wasn't very, very light. It was very light. <laughs> I wonder if he's still there. Man, need net? There's actually no really little kokanee in here. I'll fling him in. Trout. No trout. Oh my god, you put my favorite lure Man. on. Oh. <laughs> no trout. Did you go to a longer setback again? Yeah, 80 feet. Yeah. You figure out the reason you're not getting bit immediately, whether it's your setbacks, whether it's your depths, whether it's your colors, you know and you kind of get things dialed in. Once you get dialed in, then you're on. We got dialed in pretty quick, and you know, it, it fished very, very well. What depth were you out there, Bobby? 28. 28. Yep, yep. Went back to another 70-foot setback. Oh, he just came Did off. Did he come off? Yeah. I like that when I go through fish, you just do something different. It mm -hmm. entices them. They'll sit there and fall it. We found using these underwater cameras that fish often follow our gear longer than we really think that they would. It's really important that when you're fishing in a place like this is that you vary your speed because if you speed up or slow down your gear, sometimes that's what triggers the bite. You stay down. See him way back there? Oh gosh. Yeah, stay down. Yeah, that's oh, a good gosh, one. A good <laughs> Go 
fucking grinder. Oh! Let's go back and get it. <laughs> Here we go. That's a nice fish. Come on. Good job. Nice fish. Now that's why we come here. Wow. And we found that there's this pretty much like a scum line going down the lake and kokanee were residing on one side and the bows were on the other side. A nice wow. beauty, beauty kokanee. Holy smokes, huh? pushing over two pounds. Wow. Yeah, that's a good one. Man. That is a nice kokanee. You get over there and you cast on top of it, you know, you dump line, dump line, dump line, click it over, twitch it or something, yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah, that's a hoot. Oh, it was. It was fun. <laughs> I mean, it was an absolute riot. <laughs> the water clarity was very, very poor. Um, you had uh, a major plankton bloom going on in there. You know, we used uh, our kokanee corn, which I have Procure Sense in it. So using all the high UV and glow colors is what we needed to do. Our firefly orange and white squitter with that new, uh, we put a high UV copper blade on top of it. That, that was money. Got him? Got him. Yeah, good, eh? Yeah, good fish. I don't even know what it is. Uh, it's a Ooh, rainbow. It's like a rainbow. rainbow. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice rainbow. Yeah, right on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Heel. Dark colors on those fish. Nice. You know, when you're fishing clear stuff, it's one thing. When you're fishing stain, you have to be looking at different things that will add up and help catch more fish. There we go. <laughs> Coming up after the break. Doubled up. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, incoming, incoming. Nice rainbow. WorkSharp presents the Northwest Outdoorsman brought to you by Max Lure, Whitewater Lodge, Lodestar Outfitters, Procure Bait Sense, Valley Marine, Micklich, Wolf Creek Hunting, Atomica Music. Welcome back to Fishing at Concanoli. You know, when you're fishing clear stuff, to one thing. When you're fishing stain, you have to be looking at different things that will add up and help catch more fish. There we go. <laughs> decisions, decisions. I think that's the winning one right there. Bobby's obviously got a pattern, so I'm gonna switch up to it. Metal UV blades, working good for trout. Made it, finally got back there. These UV copper blades will work really good in the stained water. And it is, isn't it? Oh, it's deadly. You see it in the water here, it just flashes, but it gives a contrast. And check this out, underneath the water. Copper UV contrast and a lot of flash. Holy smokes. man, that looks good. I'd bite that. <laughs> you were a trout. That was a trout. <laughs> you bit, you bit, bit. He's on. He's on there. Yeah. Still there? Uh... Oh. Whoa! Whoa! Incoming! Incoming! <laughs> We use, you know, your standard wedding rings, your double whammies, high UV wedding rings. One of the reasons that they work so well is the fact that all of our beads have been fluorescent, which means that most of them are all high UV beads to begin with and have been forever. You're talking about having that metal blade, which hits that lateral line on a fish because they feel that thump and helps attract from a little bit further away. Oh, yep, there you go. Hit him. That's a good fish. Yeah. That one's got to get That's bit. a UV wedding ring right there. 
Yeah. Yeah, the UV wedding ring. I bet you that was thumping through. hard for that fish with that metal blade. You gonna be able to stick them in or you want me to? There we got. Right there. Oh, Just nice a big rainbow. 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 Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Nice job. Nice rainbow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was uh, it was a weird looking fish. You know, I'm trying to hold it up, and then I I pretended like I was gonna bite it, and all of a sudden, man, the fish blew up in my face. Look at his look at his fin. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the time I have a good time fishing with these boys. It's worth taking the day off from work, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah. Lots of chuckles to be shared, that's for sure. Woo! Look at that. Yeah, it hit hard, that one. Got it? Right on. Hey, Rich. Good job. You know, I love fishing with guys who are as passionate about catching fish as I am. And, and Bobby and Danny have, have really become great friends over the years. And I, I just really love fishing with those guys. We, ha we have a great time. Here we go. Doubled up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there he is. Yep. <laughs> Hard to tell without much weight on there. With Danny, we always have a lot of fun. And like I said, he's a fantastic fisherman to begin with. You know, adds a lot to everything that we do. So yeah, we, we, had, we had a blast, you know, fishing together. Now it's time for another Harrods Cookhouse recipe brought to you by Miklich, the Spokane Spice Company since 1948. Today we are making trout with caper sauce. Start by removing skin and rib bones from trout fillets. Heat two tablespoons of olive oil in a pan. Season fillets with Harrods Cookhouse lemon and dill seasoning and place in hot pan. Turn fillets and season the other side. Remove fish, add butter, garlic, capers, and lemon juice. Cook until garlic is soft. Return fish to pan and spoon sauce over fillets. Serve with your favorite side dishes and enjoy. Mmm, boy, that's delicious. For this and other great recipes, visit the Herod Outdoors website. Tune in next week for another great wild game recipe. When you start looking at mylar blades, the flashlight blades, the smile blades versus a metal blade, that metal blade is going to give you a little more thump. Well, the water clarity at that time, like I said, was absolutely zero. Between the winds and the high amount of rain that we'd had in there, uh, the drainage coming into it, it was just absolutely mud. And so 